this is a Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve this differential equation. So let's get started. Problem: Solve 1 plus 2xy into cos x square minus 2xy into dx plus sin x square minus x square into dy equals to 0. Solution: Given differential equation. One plus two x y cos x square minus two x y into dx plus sine x square minus x square into dy equals to zero. Consider as equation one, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to zero form. Where m equals to by comparing these two, we'll get m equals to one plus two x y into cos x square minus two x y, and n equals to sine x square minus x square. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. Equals to n equals to. Now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to dou by dou by of 1 plus 2xy cos x square minus 2xy. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll take x as constant 2 1 is also a constant cos x square is also a constant and 2 x are also constants right so this equals to dou by dou by of first term plus dou by dou by of second term 2 x y cos x square minus dou by dou by of third term Okay, let's mark the constants uh, pi is equals to partial derivative of constant with respect to y, 0 plus constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y minus constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y is equals to 2x cos x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus 2x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equals to 2x cos x square minus 2x. Okay. So, the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 2x cos x square minus 2x. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do by do x of sine x square minus x square. Right. So here it does not involve any constants, right? Do y to x of first term minus do y to x of second term is equals to partial derivative of sine x square is cos x square into inner derivative do y to x of x square minus partial derivative of x square is 2x. Okay. 
is equals to cos x square into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x is equals to 2x cos x square minus 2x. Okay. Therefore, partial derivative of n with respect to x is 2x cos x square minus 2x. So, here dou m, therefore, dou m by dou y equals to 2x cos x square minus 2x, which is equal to, again, do m by do x. So, from this we can say that partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Since partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, from this we can say that the given differential equation, that is equation 1, is an exact equation. Fine. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given exact differential equation. We know that the general solution of an exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. So consider the first integral, integral over x m into dx. Here we will be integrating m with respect to x Treating y as constant. Okay, this equals to integral or m equals to 1 plus 2xy cos x square minus 2xy into dx. Here y is constant, right? And also 2, 1 are constants. So, this equals to integral 1 into dx plus integral 2xy cos x square dx minus integral 2xy dx is equals to, let's write the constants outside the integral. Integral 1 dx is integral dx plus constant 2y into integral x cos x square. So here we are having integral 2xy cos x square, right? We can write this as y into, into differential dx. Let's consider the second integral. Okay. We can write this as y into cos x square into 2x dx. Okay. We know that differential equals to, that is differential df equals to f dash of x into dx. Okay. So, if you have f of x equals to x square, then f dash of x will be 2x, right? Then df, that is differential x square is equals to f dash of x, 2x into dx. So here, we can write 2x into dx as differential x square, okay?
so integral over x m into dx equals to integral dx plus we can write this as y into cos x square into 2x dx okay minus let's write it as it is So, replace 2x dx by differential x square is equal to integral dx plus integral y cos x square into differential x square minus 2x by into dx. Okay. Now, let's write the constants outside the integral. It's equal to integral dx plus constant into integral cos x square into differential dx square minus constant 2y into integral x into differential dx. Right. So now, integral dx is x plus y into integral cos x square into differential x square is we know that Integral dx equals to x, right? Likewise, integral cos theta equals to, that is integral cos theta d theta equals to sine theta. Likewise, for theta equals to x square, integral cos theta into d theta will be equals to sine theta. That's simple. Okay? Minus 2y into Integral x dx is x squared by 2. Here 2 gets cancelled. Right. Is equals to x plus y sine x square minus x squared by x squared. Therefore, integral over x m into dx is equals to x plus y sine x square minus x square y. Fine. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We are having n equals to sine x square minus x square. Do we have any terms which are free from x? No. We don't have any term which is free from x, right? So, the terms of n free from x is 0. This equals to 0 into dy equals to 0. Now, coming to the general solution of the given equation. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral x plus y sine x square. Minus x square y plus the result obtained from the second integral is 0 equals to integral constant c. Then x plus y sine x square minus x square y equals to c is a required general solution. Okay. So, we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.